Last October 8, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released its special report on global warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius. The world has already reached an average warming of 1 degree Celsius above pre-industrial levels. The world is already experiencing so many extreme weather events such as super typhoons, floods, drought, wildfires. But what the IPCC 1.5 report is saying is that if global warming continues uh, unabated, we will experience even more extreme weather events and we will see the creeping impacts of climate change such as sea level rise, coral beaching, land degradation. All these slow onset events brought upon by climate change will become even more pronounced and it will affect even more people, even more ecosystems. It will affect economies around the world. The IPCC 1.5 report laid out climate impacts on food, flora and fauna, agriculture. The Philippines is among the most vulnerable to climate change impacts such as these. According to the IPCC, if warming continues to pick up up to 1.5 degrees Celsius, 9 out of 10 of tropical coral reefs worldwide would be severely degraded. The Philippines is in the center of marine biodiversity and 80% of Filipinos rely on seafood as the, their source of protein. Government must realize that climate change is not just a problem to solve. In fact, bold, ambitious, Immediate climate action is also about seizing opportunities for economic advancement, for true sustainable development, for resilience.